All right, in the past I showed you how to add an image as your light source. Now I'm going to show you how to add textures as your light source. So the first thing we need to do is just lift this up, change this to shader editor. Obviously we need to change to render viewport and let's go here to our render settings and change from EV to cycles. You have to be in cycles for this because the options aren't available in EV currently. Right, now that you've done that, um, let's select our light. Go to your object data properties for your light and you'll see nodes are available and it's only available in cycles. Now that we've got this over here, it's currently showing an emission. So we could increase this emission, why not? You can see it affects the scene directly, which is great. And now we can say, you know what, let's add a texture. So you go Shift A and you just go to textures and you can use any of these textures. So in this example, let's use a wave texture and we're gonna create a blind effect as if um, light is shining through blinds. So we'll just connect it like that. And then you have to click on this. And one thing you do need installed is Node Wrangler. If you don't know what Node Wrangler is, it's a default thing you always need. If you have Blender, you must enable this. Type in N-O-D-E and just make sure Node Wrangler is ticked. If it's ticked, you're set, you're sorted. Anyway, so click on this and press Control T. If you have Node Wrangler installed, these two things will pop up. And then all you need to do for the scene to work properly is, number one, let's change to our camera view. Number two, let's click over here on our output properties and crop to region, crop to location, and then let's connect this to the normal. Now we've got these lines. Now we probably want to modify this a bit. So we, what we could do is we could reduce this to make it a little bit thicker or we could increase it to make it super thin. We could also distort it to create a unique weird shape. That's actually kind of loads of fun to do. But this is not actually on this texture itself. So just to demonstrate this, you may think it's on this texture, but it's not. So if we pressed R to rotate this, Z on the Z axis and we turn this and we went over here and we press R Z you can see that it's 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 not a texture on the actual object you can still add a texture to the object if you like you might decide I want to add you might decide to add an emission texture right the only problem with an emission texture is a bad example for this. Let's use a glossy texture, right? And then you say, let's give this a roughness of 0 0.1, perhaps, no, 0 0.3. Okay, no roughness. And let's make it green. So pretty much you've got this weird shadow, this black shadow on your object that's not part of the mesh. So if this was moving, G, Z, you can see it's not really on the object itself, it's just a light source. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to add textures to your light source to create an interesting effect for your scene. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.